Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, January 14th, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 787 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Different Princess Premieres. YOLO releases an official trailer, star and director Jia Ling shares a message with fans. Article 20 announces itself, Zhao Liying gets attention for her bits in the trailer. And it was a star-studded night in Beijing as the celebrities came out for Weibo night. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here is what's recently premiered, one drama for today and the past few days. Different Princess is a costume drama starring Sung Yi-ren and Sun Zhu-jun. It premiered on January 12. According to Yuku, in the drama, Sung Yi-ren is a writer who gets transported into her own novel and enters the body of a dispensable supporting character. Knowing her novel, she thinks she's in control of her script, but falling in love with the male lead was not part of the plan. Different Princess is slated for 36 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. That's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, Tell No One recently passed review. Tell No One stars Oh Hao and Li Yitong. The crime suspense drama passed review and got an online record number on January 12th. Oh Hao last starred in The Eve and before that was in Wild Bloom. In Tell No One, he is an undercover cop who lurks within a criminal syndicate. Li Yitong was in a bunch of dramas in 2023, her most recent being Spy Game. And tell no one she is a cop who's involved in Ohau's case. The drama is slated for 12 episodes and will stream on IGE. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, film slash celebrity updates. We begin with a follow up on a segment I did a few videos ago regarding Tia Ling and her latest movie, YOLO. On January 10th, the film officially announced itself with this poster. YOLO, You Only Live Once is directed by Tia Ling and will premiere on the first day of the Lunar New Year, which this year falls on February 10th. Tia Ling stars in the movie with Lei Jia Ying and Zhang Xiaofei, among others. Yang Zi makes an appearance as well. The movie also shared this teaser trailer, which I found quite funny. In this bit at the end, Lei Jia Ying asks Tia Ling if she's pushing. She says she's pushing hard, but she somehow still manages to scratch her nose. According to Douban, in YOLO, Jia Ling is a girl who's withdrawn from society and closed up her social circle. This changes when she meets a boxing coach played by Lei Jia Ying and she gets her life back on track. As I updated in the previous video, the big story behind this movie is that Jia Ling stepped away from the public eye while filming it, and recently, this screenshot started making the rounds on Weibo, along with rumors that the 41-year-old actress had lost 110 pounds. On January 10th, Jia Ling shared a personal message on Weibo which spoke to that. My dear friends, she began, haven't seen you in more than a year, miss you guys much. In the year I've disappeared, I've made a movie called YOLO. I shot this movie for an entire year, covering all four seasons. I also successfully lost 100 jing or 110 pounds and trained to look like a boxer. The night we wrapped filming, I sat alone on my bed and ate five packs of chocolate wafers. Looking back, I felt like a tired warrior holding her trophy. She goes on to explain that she didn't want people to think that YOLO was just a movie about weight loss. Quote, this movie has nothing to do with weight loss or even boxing. It is a movie about how kind people find themselves and learn to love themselves. There is a past me and a new me in the movie. I hope you like them both. Lastly, I've been really hungry and tired this past year. It's felt like a lifetime. Unquote. Also announcing their first day of the Lunar New Year premiere was Article 20. Article 20 is a new Chang Yimou film, and a couple of days ago they shared this poster to announce their premiere. The drama, which has been marketed as a comedy, stars Lei Jiaying, Ma Li, and Zhao Liying. There are appearances by some superb actors like Wang Xiao, Yu Hewei, and Li Naiwen, among others. 
according to Baidu. In Article 20, Lei Jiaying is a middle-aged prosecutor who looks forward to the last case of his career, but it unexpectedly turns out to be a hugely difficult one. The movie shared a trailer as well, and much of the discussion was about Zhao Liying's parts. In the film, Zhao Liying plays a deaf mother who gets involved in a legal case, and although she's only in the trailer for a few seconds, she made quite the impression. During a promo event, the 36-year-old actress revealed that in order to get into character, she would wear earplugs so she could barely hear anything. Quote, Meeting so many superb actors and the director, I was quite nervous. I wanted to come up with something of my own to put into my character. I felt if people used some sign language when communicating with me, I'd have succeeded to a good degree." Unquote. Next up for celebrity updates, I gotta mention the recently held Weibo Night. It was a star-studded affair in Beijing, with the who's who of the Chinese entertainment industry in attendance to accept some interesting awards. Weibo Night is an annual awards night hosted by Sina since 2004. According to Wikipedia, the nominees are determined by Weibo's annual index. The winners are determined by netizens' votes and quote-unquote comprehensive expert opinions. This year's ceremony took place on the evening of January 13th. Weibo released a list of honors and awards on the night. Pretty much everyone who showed up got something, so the list was quite long. Here are some of the honors. Breakthrough Actors of the Year went to Tian Xiwei, Joseph Tseng, Zhang Jingyi, Zhou Ye, and Zhou Yiran. Charming Actors of the Year went to Chen Duling, Li Yitong, Gu Li Naja, Peng Yichang, and Sun Yang. Rapid Leap Actors of the Year, my interpretation of that is actors who had a rapid rise, went to Chen Zheyuan, Deng Wei, Yu Shi, and Zhang Linghe. Focus Actors of the Year, in other words, actors to focus on, went to Bai Lu, Song Yi, Tang Jianchi, Dylan Huang, and Zhao Lu Si. Heat Actors, or Popular Actors of the Year, went to Johnny Huang, Liu Yuning, Wei Daxun, and Esther Yu. Texture Actors of the Year went to Bai Jingting, Del Raba, Jing Boran, and Liu Wu. In works of art, the Chinese characters for texture can mean sense of reality, so interpret that how you see fit. True Talent Actors of the Year went to Gao Ye, Liu Tao, Tong Yao, and Wang Chuanjun. Now then, Drama Series of the Year went to six dramas, Lost You Forever Season 1, Till the End of the Moon, Blossom Shanghai, Mysterious Lotus Casebook, The Queen of News, and A Journey to Love. Actors of the Year with the power to rally supporters went to Cecilia Liu and Yang Zi. Well-received Film People of the Year went to Da Peng, Huang Xuan, and Wang Yibo. Quality Film People of the Year went to Zhou Dongyu, Zhu Yilong, and Zhang Xiaofei. Excellent Actors of the Year went to Lei Jiaying, Ma Li, and Xiao Zhan. Outstanding Actors of the Year went to Huang Xiaoming and Li Bingbing. Influential Actor of the Year went to Huang Bo. Influential Director of the Year went to Zhang Yimou. And lastly, Weibo King and Queen went to Zhu Yilong and Yang Zi, respectively. There were other honors bestowed on the night to singers, movies, variety shows, etc. The live stream of the event, including red carpet and everything, ran for over 9 hours. Congrats to all the winners. Alright, that's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in. So I thank you guys for all your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 206, January 14th, 2024. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Mysterious Lotus Casebook. The costume drama stars Cheng Yi and Joseph Cheng. 
Number 9, Story of Quinning Palace, the costume drama stars Bai Lu and Zhang Linghe. Number 8, Frozen Surface, the modern drama stars Chen Jianping and Hu Jun. Number 7, Love Me, Love My Voice, the modern drama stars Tan Jianchi and Zhou Ye. Number 6, The Mutations, the costume drama stars Huang Xuan and Wu Yue. Number 5, A Journey to Love, the costume drama stars Cecilia Liu and Liu Yuning. Number 4, I Know I Love You, the modern drama stars Zhang Wanyi and Sun Yi. Number 3, The Lonely Warrior, the modern drama stars Qing Hao and Li Naiwen. Number 2, My Boss, the modern drama stars Chen Xingxu and Zhang Ronan. And number 1, The Last Immortal, the costume drama stars Zhao Lusi and Wang Anyu. The Last Immortal is champion for a fourth week running. It garnered 534 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Born to Run, the modern drama stars Elaine Chung and Yang Chaoyue. Number 9, Happy Life, the modern drama stars Qing Hao and Jiang Xing. Number 8, Light Seeker, the story of the young Mao Zedong, the Republican era drama stars Liu Chengling and Mi Zhuoqing. Number 7, Unshakable Faith, the retro drama stars Peng Xiaoran and Liu Xueyi. Number 6, The Forerunner, the Republican era drama stars Wang Runjun and Ning Li. Number 5, Scout Hero, the retro drama stars Luo Jing and Sandra Ma. Number 4, Like a Flowing River Season 3, the modern drama stars Wang Kai and Yang Shuo. Number 3, Our Interpreter, the modern drama stars Victoria Song and Cheng Xingxu. Number 2, The Hope, the modern drama stars Zhang Ruoyun and Huang Yao. And number 1, Blossoms Shanghai, the retro drama stars Hu Ge and Ma Yili. Blossom Shanghai ends the week with 611 points, making it champion for a second week running. That's two weeks in a row with over 600 points for Blossom Shanghai. And there it is, guys. Hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week, and I will see you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.